Hey there folks, got a new knife for you. What I have here is the new full-size bodega from Todd Bag Knives. This one is part of the Steel, Steelcraft series produced by Riata Knives. Uh, these are fairly new hitting the market now. You might find in your local internet knife purveyors like Blade HQ Knife Shows Free. Check them out. Uh, they have different iterations of it. They're going to have different handle colors, handle styles, blade styles. And we'll go over that. So, been waiting for this one for a while. Uh, if you guys follow the channel, you know I'm a nut for my Todd Bag Bodega. My, in fact, I pretty new in the channel. My one of my very first uh, videos was on my orange Bodega. You know, I'm gonna bring it out now. So, scored this at New York Custom Knife Show a million years ago when I still didn't know the Bag Brothers. Now I'm. Definitely good friends with them. This was actually a lottery knife. I got picked for it. I should say my girlfriend got picked for it, so she bought it for me. If you guys remember the vid I did on it, I described this as like the Corvette, the Corvette of knives out there because it's just so sleek. I mean, just look at the beautiful inlay of orange, right? The pocket clip, the interchangeable lock. The jeweling, I mean, I mean, this video is not about this, but look at the blade shape. Look at that fuller signature of uh, Todd Bagnize. All right, enough of this beauty. Um, I think I'll put the link uh, somewhere over here at the end for the old, if you want to see that, that video. But now, produced for you by Riata Knives through Todd Bag, they're offering now this beautiful bodega. A nice affordable price point, right? Let's go over the specs of this beauty. First, I'm gonna let's take a gander. This particular model I got has the hand rub. Yes, folks, hand rub satin blade. I'm told by Mark Bag that David Dang and his people actually hand rub, hand rub, not machine each blade. Where do you get that? Where else do you get that from a production knife? Hopefully the light's not too screwy. It's really tough to capture satin. But as you can see, all the elements of my bodega, for the most part are here. Beautiful blade shape. That crazy fuller, which I love. If you ask me, every Todd bag knife, knife has to have a fuller. That's just me, that's what I like. All right, overall length, on this bodega is nine inches similar to my uh, the, my orange one uh, blade length is just a little bit under four inches 3.8 the steel is CPM s35 VN right it's got this drop point blade titanium frame lock so this is all so if you guys haven't seen this before if you, had, you didn't see my video on a mini bodega this is all titanium this is milled out so so it looks like an inlay to simulate this inlay you guys can see but this is all titanium machined out to give that to simulate that inlay look which i don't know looks pretty fantastic to me uh what does it come with it does come with as you can see there with the new logo, IKBS ceramic bearings on the inside, a staple of the, the bag industry. Oh. Uh, it's also got a ceramic detent ball. I don't know if you can see that, but it's in there, ceramic detent ball. Just gorgeous. I think it's just so beautiful. All right. So it's got that inlay look. Awesome. Awesome. You're going to see more reviews uh, of guys uh, recently scoring this. This is my pre-score just before Blade. Oh, why not? All right. So I went with the uh, full satin hand rub finish. Now they do offer it in like uh, two-tone blades, satin blades, um, satin flats. Uh, let's see. So on my mini bodega, as you see there. I got that black coating, that black finish on the blade, and then it's got the satin flats. They'll be offering that for this one too. Just not, not quite yet. They're, they're gonna release them soon, so look for it. 
they're releasing them in um uh, i want to say like small batches but they're coming so just be on the lookout for them uh, put it on your favorites or put it on your wish list when you you know you go to your favorite internet knife site and just that way you get notified when you get it right you can see the difference there. so the bodega the mini bodega is overall length is seven inches where this is um nine inches blade length on this one is three and again this one's 3.8 just a little bit bigger and you can see that they have different handle finishes milled out on this one i believe this one's called a fan pattern after me they named it after terra fanatic just kidding so that's the fan pattern and i think i think this one's called oh god i'm not sure if this is a diamond pattern or a checkered pattern, but there's, that's what they offer. They offer the checkered pattern, uh, a diamond pattern, a fan pattern, and even a scallop pattern. They just give you so many options. It's just mind blowing. Look at that. Gorgeous. So on this particular new bodega, they went with a satin clip. If you can see here on my mini bodega, the clip is jeweled iced out for you neanderthals and they went with like a checkering on the backspacer on this new iteration of the bodega they went with a satin clip they went with a cleaner look looks sick it matches i love it it matches my blade still got that signature detail ball on the pocket clip very nice and they got the same checkering on the backspacer Nice jimping on the butt of the knife. Yeah, just really clean, folks. Really clean. So if you go now to the websites, you'll see that they have like uh, different finishes on the on the, the on the on the frames. They'll have two tones, uh, uh, different anodization colors. Um, oh, also on the inside. Hopefully that camera captures it. You can see that the titanium is pocketed out. How awesome is that? They thought of everything, seriously. There's so much work goes into this production knife made by Riata Knives. So they lightened up the titanium by pocketing it out. I think the weight, the weight is about six, six ounces. The mini bodega is about a little under four, like 3.7. So they thought of everything. It is a frame lock. It does have a uh, steel insert in there and an over travel. I mean, there's so much work goes into these knives, folks. Just phenomenal. I love this monochromatic look. Uh, I wanted to do with the black and the, the, the satin. Um, just want to wipe the blade a little bit. I mean, look at that. Look at that hand rub goodness. Even my semi-custom bodega doesn't have that. If you look at my semi-custom, now now this I got like I think in 2013. And you can see that the blade is machined. And you see that? And this, although I love this, is definitely one of my favorite knives, one of my girls. You can see that, um, hopefully you can see it, that you can see the machine lines on it. So this was satin, but machined, but not hand rubbed. Hopefully you guys can see that. As opposed to the new Riata knives where, if you saw my, my Robert Carter video, you know that these knives are, you know, they go through a belt and then it's followed up with a hand rub finish, like me and Robert doing. You know how long and tedious I mean, it takes hours, hours to get rid of all those grind lines like it's going this way and then hand rub it this way. You're getting it. You're getting it on this production knife, this Riata Bodega, this Todd Bag Bodega. You can see their logo over there. Todd Bag Knives. All right, let's see. So you got jimping on the back of the blade. You got this beautiful swedge harpoon style. Very nice. Just really excellent, 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 excellent. 
buttery soft. I mean, I know people hate that, but yeah, it's buttery soft. What do you want me to tell you? It just falls close. It's so smooth. I, I and now maybe I should say this. I don't know if I said this the last bit. Now, Mark and Todd, Todd and Mark go to Riata Knives and they showed them how to do all this. They trained them. They taught them how to do all these things, how to flatten the detent so you get that nice falling down effect on the blade. They showed them how to uh, do the inlay designs, right? They showed them the hand rub. They taught them everything, right? They went to David Dang because he's a quality knife maker. Like Todd said in one of his vids, it doesn't matter where they where they would have gone. They would have gone to, or I think well, Todd said Columbia or something, but they just wanted a quality knife. They wanted a quality product. They didn't want to skip out on anything. So they wanted a, a, a a, a person, a company that would produce it to the level of quality that the begs are accustomed to and as well as their customers. You know, they want to get it right. They got, folks, they got it right. They got it right. Look how beautiful this is. This, this, this fan pattern on this handle. Ridiculous. I think they could also make this in damage steel. So. Of course, that's going to be a little bit more money. And again, so S35EN, I believe, I believe this semi-custom is Bowler N690, I believe. But just a size comparison, you can see that it's exact dimensions. So if you've always been jonesing now, good luck trying to get one of these in the secondary. You can get this now. Feels feels almost the same except you know of course this is a uh, inlay g10 so it's a little bit different but the quality the sexiness it's there so just want to share that with you guys really quick if you guys are going to blade show definitely hit up the the bag uh, booth because they're going to have these available um, you know, they're always running specials, especially at Blade Show. Um, so I would definitely, um, stop by Todd Begg's table, talk to Mark, find out if they have, look at that, almost chopped my finger off. Find out if they have any of these, they will, they will. Also, I don't know if this is a secret, I hope it's not a secret, they're also releasing the new Glimpse. Again, it's going to be similar to this, right? Uh, it's going to be their Glimpse model. If you guys aren't familiar with that, it's one of my other favorite uh, Todd bag knives. It's also going to be very affordable. It's going to have, I believe, G10 or carbon fiber on the scales with an inlay of like a liner lock to make it really light. They're going to have, I believe, 100 prototypes. 100, because that's what they have right now. They're in the testing phase. They're going to have 100 prototypes available at Blaze Show for the lucky collector out there that's looking to get uh, a Glimpse. A glimpse, a glimpse at the glimpse. I'm definitely gonna try to score one, you know, before they're produced, right? So at at, at Todd's uh, booth, they're gonna have these prototypes. Now the glimpse are a little bit smaller than the bodega. It's gonna be a little bit smaller than this. Now, I haven't held one, but if, if they're anything like the uh, bodega, if they're gonna go with the size of the original custom glimpse, it's gonna be almost nine inches, a little bit under nine inches, like 8.8 .8 inches, right? Uh, I believe the steel is also going to be um, uh, S35VN, but it's going to be, again, it's going to have the different finishes on the blade, similar to what they did with the Bodega and the Mini Bodega and the Quaken. Um, they're going to have different colors on it. And it oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's all going to be uh, like G10. I'm not sure if they're going to do titanium. I think it's just going to be G10 or carbon fiber or some kind of material like that, but not. I don't believe they're going to make it titanium. I don't, but I could be wrong. They may do it, I don't know. All right, so look for that, the new glimpse. But anyway, this is the Bodega. The Riata Knives Steelcraft Series Bodega by Todd Bag Knives. Just sexy! All right, one last gander. I don't know, Is there's nothing like a nice satin finish. I do like the two-tone blades that they have with the black finish, right? And then the, the satin flats, but I, I just dig. It's sick, right? Look at that, folks. 
sick. Look at the satin hand rub and the machine finish on this on this semi custom. You're getting it. You're getting it on this one, on this production version. How awesome is that? Get your hands on it, folks. Get on it. Get on it. If you're lucky enough, if you're definitely going to Blade, please go stop by. Because I promise you, you won't regret it. All right, folks. That's the Todd Bag Steelcraft Series Bodega. Peace.